pushing yourself or striving to be a better version of yourself is something that I think we should all strive to do, right? It's something that is vital, once again, in us trying to pursue this fulfilling life for what we want, for what you want, not what everyone else wants, but what for you, for you want, for you. This will also link with accountability. I'm going to link the video up there. This is an older video, but it still has a very valid meaning behind it. And I think it's important that we understand this. So pushing yourself, you know, what does that mean? Does that mean going to the extreme until you're burnt out? Does it mean physically pushing yourself? Does it mean mentally pushing yourself? What, what, what are we going to be covering today? Great question once again, guys. And today is going to be about both physically and mentally. And in, in every aspect that you can push yourself, we're going to be covering that. So what I mean by pushing yourself is, first off, the first step is understanding your limits, right? Every single person on this planet has a limit, whether it's a physical limit, you know, for example, running, you have a physical limit where your body will get tired. If you aren't used to running, you're going to get tired a lot quicker than someone who's used to running, obviously. So those limits are important when f looking at it from a physical example, right? Another example is mentally. How long can you go with reading a book or looking at something or trying to learn or absorb as much knowledge as you can from a book or some sort of webinar or, you know, a website, etc.? you'll hit a point where you start to come, your mind starts to sway away, become distracted. People have different levels and variants in this concentration. You know, where's your limit in that? So it's important to establish first off and understand where your limits are in terms of these examples. Secondly, once we understand our limits, this is the exciting part, right? This is where we can almost use these limits to, these, to our advantage, right? And so we know that, for example, in arbitrary terms, I read two pages and I'm, I'm tired, right? So now I have a goal, right? I can, I see that if I hit two pages, I'm going to start to get tired. However, if we push through that little bit, even if it's 10%, 15%, try and push through that first phase of that limit that, that is in our mind at the moment, push through, you know, a little bit of discomfort, we push through, we read an extra page. You know, in this example, that would be 50%, right? Awesome, we've done another page. Now we've just pushed our boundary and pushed out that limit. So now, guess what? Next time we go read, maybe we do three pages again and three pages and then we do four pages, right? Guess what we've done again? We've broken through the limits that we set ourselves. So once we understand and, and, and set these limits, we're able to break them, right? This goes for physical limits as well. Let's say you've gone for a run for a minute and then you're tired, you have to stop, start walking. Next time you run for a minute in 10 seconds, guess what? An extra 10 seconds, beautiful. That's really good improvement, right? And you keep building this up. Once you find these limits, and don't let them confine, don't confine yourself within the limits and learn to push them, guess what? You're going to start seeing improvements. You're going to feel happy. You're going to feel more fulfilled because you're constantly improving yourself, but also that sense of accomplishment is, is helping you give purpose, right? Especially if you're able to link this purpose with helping others because I think helping others and striving to help others is something that always brings joy. You know, it always brings joy to me and I'm sure it brings joy to you as well. So once you find something or find limits where you can only help people for a certain amount of time, whether it's in your job, for example, you're on calls, you're helping someone in the shop, uh, you're doing some sort of skill or service for them, learn your limits. You know, if you want to help the extra customer or help or stay an extra 10 minutes, you know, you're pushing these limits and finding ways to be more happy, you know, be more fulfilled. Because I think personally, at the moment, I see set my happiness and fulfillment quite linked together. If I'm fulfilled, I'm usually happy right at the moment these are arbitrary tasks that i go through that throughout life whether it's reading a book whether it's learning a language whether it's teaching myself a skill improving myself at work you know pushing myself in these standards and pushing myself to my own standards and setting them very high is what gives me that sense of accomplishment and so i'm hoping talking through the examples with you opens your eyes a bit to this topic and and helps you see how you can improve yourself because this is all about you right how you can improve yourself so this very much links with accountability, right? You need to be accountable and be real with yourself. Be real and understand where your limits are and when to push them. There will be times where you can't push anymore. That's the limit. That's a that's the burnout phase, which are also linked at the top of this video here. When you you don't wanna, you want to avoid that burnout and you avoid burnout by understanding your limits and understanding there's times and in, in, in the ebbs and flows of life where you can't push anymore. You can't go for that extra ten percent, five percent, one percent. Because you're tired mentally, physically, emotionally, you're, you're exhausted. And that's normal. That's natural. It's not it's not normal to grind 24 seven. It's not 
healthy, right? You have to have breaks. You must have breaks. Otherwise, this burnout will actually make you become less efficient, you know, and you'll start to become unfulfilled because you're not feeling accomplished because you're not able to put all your all effort into it. Because guess what? You're burnt out, right? So understanding these limits will help you avoid the burnout, but you need to under be accountable and understand that if you aren't in control of your own actions, who else is going to do it for you, right? You need to. You need to take the reins on the horse, right? You need to be driving the car. Yes, you control how fast you go in the car, how fast the horse goes, but ultimately, once the car breaks down, once the horse gets tired, you need to slow down. You need to take a break. Get some water for the horse, you know? Fill the car up with a bit more fuel. Understand that it's nice and normal to, to move your pedal up and down in the car or, for example, slow down with the horse. And once you understand those limits, you, you're you unstoppable, right, in terms of your own work ethic, but also your ability and mindset on life to view it so positively is just on another level because you're going to experience so much more. And once again, it's all linked to fulfillment and how you can feel more fulfilled. So hopefully this has given a quick insight into pushing yourself and understanding why to push yourself, how to push yourself, and understanding the dangers of pushing yourself, learning those limits and controlling them, right? Making the most of the times where you have that extra spur of energy, whether it's in the gym, whether it's reading reading a book, learning a language, or whether you're burnt out, you're tired, you're hitting that point of, oh, I'm, you know, I'm feeling burnt out. Ease off the pedal, you know? There's no reason not to. I know you want to, you may want to achieve a goal at the end of the tunnel, but understand once you fall in love with this journey of going, you know, through the ebbs and flows, the goal will be hit, right? And that goal will ever keep ever changing because once you hit a goal, you always want another one. So don't get so glued to one goal. Get glued to the journey because the journey is endless, but the goal will get hit at some point. I'm going to end with a quote as always with no author push yourself because no one else is going to do it for you.